everyone, this is Vicky from The Agonist, and you're watching Loud TV. Yes, I mean, it's just location, you know, because it's a uh, added expense to come back to Europe, you know. We have to book flights and we have to carry everything here. So this, this tour is actually really good in that sense because it's a very long tour and we're here for almost two months so we're maximizing on you know the money that we spent getting here lots of shows sold out shows every night great crowds so it's, it's amazing um, so yeah I know it's, it's amazing and Ginger are amazing great people great music the bands fit together well so it's, it's good all around How do I explain this? I think metal musicians, but metal fans as well, um, are actually the nicest people in real life. And I think that that's partially because of the music, because it's so aggressive, and whenever you're dealing with anything in your head and you listen to it, it's like a release for you, and then it's over with. And that built up energy of anger that you have is, is gone so that when you talk to people you're actually a nice pleasant human being you know um, and and I remember I read a study actually that was done a couple years back about teenagers that listen to metal music and they go to shows and into mosh pits and they're pushing people around all angry they're actually performing better in school and they're better kids and all that because again they're releasing all that negative energy so it's gone there's nothing left anymore and that, I think yeah I think that applies to everyone the lyrics are basically whatever fits the song so like you mentioned as one we survive you hear the music for that song it's so straightforward typical like classic in your face metal um, and then it has this big release in, in the chorus where it just gives you this togetherness as a vibe so the lyrics just had to match that emotion you know that the music was portraying as well whereas if we have maybe a more complex progressive song maybe then the, the lyrics will be a little more intricate but uh, when I write lyrics or, and vocals in general I just I make sure that they go along with what the music is telling me so like you know to capture that emotion on on all ends that's like you said why so angry like a lot of riffs on orphans sound very angry and like a punch to your face and you know you can't just say over and over I'm pissed off I'm angry I'm this and that you have to think of lyrics that can portray that emotion without you exactly saying it you know what I mean why orphans the yeah. title yeah. it's uh, well we have a song called orphans and we were just talking and we we said that in all other albums we never named the album from a song so I was looking at the the title songs that we had so that that point we didn't have the full album done and I saw orphans and I'm like oh that would be such a nice album title like first and foremost as a word and um, secondly like the the explanation that I give to it is that it's a very negative word like you know you hear someone's an orphan and you feel sorry and you're like oh but I've heard so many stories of people that have like achieved success in life despite you know starting off at the worst point uh, bad conditions and all that and like I, that's that's a representation of you know you can succeed no matter what so it's maybe about taking something negative and and putting a more positive spin on it that you know what um, life can be whatever you want it to be so I, I like that meaning behind it the world has never been a fairy tale magical place there's always been difficulties and honestly I can only speak of the 31 years that I've been alive because uh, the rest is you know stuff you hear or you read in history books and all that but I, I seem to think that the world was a much worse place you know back in the day um, so I think a lot of a lot of things that were problems you know 50 60 100 years ago they've been resolved and humanity has been growing and consciousness for for a lot of things that you know back then were just like totally horrible so I, I think despite 
those extremes that you're talking about and and people you know being angry and mad and like all oh, the world sucks and humanity sucks and uh, we, we should just all die and whatever it's like no that's the, the negative energy you're putting out and you feel that way but like if we all just did our part and put out something positive and and grew as human beings and people and all that I think the world would be a better place and it seems like it's happening you know sure there'll be assholes always and forever but we're talking majority here and and I think majority people are kind and nice and want to grow no no actually orphans was the easiest album for everyone in the band to record um, you know when you're entering the studio you have like a schedule and you say okay we're taking I don't know three days for drums five days for guitars two weeks for vocals whatever um, and so on and so on but everyone finished earlier than expected so I remember we were like maybe a week ahead of schedule and that gave our producer more time to focus on the mix which was amazing and I think that just speaks as to how much of um, us it is, you know, like 100% us, because if it wasn't, then it wouldn't be that easy to create and to record, you know. Like, music shouldn't be um, difficult to write. Maybe in the beginning when you're first starting out and you don't really know how to do it and you're trying out stuff and you suck because everyone st sucks in the beginning, um, but <laughs> after a few albums, it, it shouldn't be hard, you know. You should just be doing what's feels comfortable and what's you and putting your heart and soul into it. Next year, we the band has a couple shows. The beginning of the year, we're playing the cruise, seventy thousand tons. Finally, first time that'll be exciting. Um, and then we have a North American tour in March, April with Flesh God Apocalypse, which we actually saw last night in London. We had a day off, and we were like, "Whoa, they're playing in London!" Whoa, crazy coincidence. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. And then we're coming back to Europe in the summer for like festivals and other stuff. So some of them have been announced like uh, Brutal Assault, uh, but we're still kind of planning that, so we'll see.